Efficiently running a city isn't as easy as it looks. Okay, maybe it doesn't look easy. Your grace. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 city simulators. Greetings, Presidente. I understand you have a request for Mother Russia. With elements of city management being found in all genres of the industry, it wasn't easy to draw the line in the sand here. While the mobile market has many examples on display, we feel like games like The Simpsons Tapped Out are about as close to true city sims as armed robbery is to speed dating. <laughs> and we ultimately decided to narrow down our list to just those core gaming experiences where the main focus of the game is on building, managing, and operating the city, not strategy, action, or microtransactions. I can still improve that system. Just a little fine calibration. Number 10, Zoops Master of Olympus. <laughs> While we would have figured running a city in ancient times would be easier than its modern counterpart, this mythologically inspired entry proved us very, very wrong. Worship me, the great Zeus, and I will make you master of all you see. Successfully building a city throughout the seven different campaigns requires a careful balance of food production, resource management, and, of course, defending your city from the ancient monsters roaming the countryside. It just wouldn't be Greece without them, I guess. Complex enough to be challenging, but light-hearted enough to keep us building, Zeus Master of Olympus hits all the notes we'd expect from a good city sim, but doesn't do any of them spectacularly. Number 9, Cities XL 2011. The graphically more powerful follow up to the first entry in the series has a lot to offer anyone looking to break into city planning. While it perhaps didn't have much in the way of groundbreaking new features or innovations on existing ones, Focus Home Interactive did a good job in making the world feel like a living and breathing entity. From the constant buzzing of traffic at street level, to the management and trading of citizens to neighboring corporations and cities, every person and city block feels crucial to the overall snapshot of the city. With over 50 maps, hundreds of buildings, and a variety of industries, there has been plenty on offer to keep us busy to this day. Number 8. Banished. A dark and gritty take on the genre that's right in line with today's current trends, this small-scale city builder had us appreciating it for a whole bunch of different reasons. Trying to lead our small band of villagers to survival through the harsh winters, we are constantly buffeted by the disease, starvation, and inevitable death of our local tribesmen. While hazards and population control are a key aspect when trying to manage a city's well-being and happiness, the small-scale and much more realistic nature of this game had us surprisingly upset at each passing as we scrambled to plug up the societal holes that were left behind as best we could. Number 7. Cities in Motion 2 As frustrated as we might get when our buses and subways aren't on time, this complex public transportation simulator showed us that it's not always an easy fix. In charge of everything in the city from bus schedules to subway lines and connective terminals, you're responsible for the mass transit experience of cities that grow disturbingly large. Aging vehicles and breakdowns are all two common problems we constantly had to tackle, and after only a short while, we could feel our standards start to slip as we let more and more people run late throughout their day. The next time it happens to us in real life, we'll be a little more sympathetic to the poor guy in charge of that system. Actually, you know what? No, screw that guy. Number 6, Anno 2205. Taking city building to the future and into space. Nothing really compared to the experience you'd get playing through this sci-fi economy simulator. Ah, I knew there was something going on here. With gameplay varying depending on whether you find yourself in different climates of the Earth or in outer space, the experience never gets stale as you modify your strategies around the region-specific structures. Clear for action. 
causing us to be glued to our screens for hours at a time. Anno 2205 has a distinct advantage over the rest of the field. While in other games too many lapses in realism can sour your experience, this entry escapes those traps by letting your imagination run wild. After all, it's not every day you get to build colonies on the moon. Consumer analyses show unfulfilled demand for specific commodities. Number 5. Patrician 3 – Rise of the Hans It's kinda hard not to be immersed in the Baltic world of Patrician 3 as you sail across the sea to various coastal cities trading and peddling your wares. While trying to satisfy the market needs of the Hanseatic League, as a novice trader with just a ship to our name got a little tedious at times, it was extremely rewarding watching our reputations grow, expanding our economies and political influence through more and more of the game's historically themed cities. The pirates and competitors provide stiff competition at first, but once we persevered long enough to be named the mayor of our little town, expanding and fine-tuning it were well worth the struggle. Number 4, Caesar 4. Allowing us to take our expertise to the hilly countryside of Rome, this painstakingly historically accurate sim let us live out our dreams of developing a city for one of the greatest empires ever. Utasies! With beautiful 3D landscapes and tons of options at creating an efficient, appealing layout, our job of leading the cities through the ages of the Republic and Empire through dozens of assignments had us feeling like we were really there. Featuring two different methods of playing through the game, Caesar 4 provided everything we needed to feel like console for a day, including, unfortunately, the Gauls. Number 3, Tropico 4. Look at the water. Look at the beaches. Look at the palm trees. Taking control of El Presidente on our little communist dictatorship of an island is one of the most fun experiences we've had building up and managing a city. It's always our work, no play, Presidente. From the light-hearted humor of historically themed foreign diplomats to the crime-ridden slums of our local workforce, Tropico 4 doesn't pretend to be a serious take on the simulator genre, and we kind of love it for it. What matter requires Presidente's attention? Exploiting and exporting the natural resources of St. Clara to pad our Swiss bank accounts provided the perfect balance of realism and quirkiness that allowed us to comfortably sit back and enjoy our reign of terror. That is, when we weren't dealing with the rebels and tornadoes, of course. Number 2. Cities Skylines Everything the SimCity reboot should have been and more, Cities Skylines is the prototypical modern city simulator. In charge of building from the ground up, the game gave us all the tools we needed to zone out the different city sections and complete our vision for the town, providing us complete control over how to structure your highway, water, and energy systems. Whether you're a micromanager or a casual gamer, running everything from a wind turbine powered super city to an environmentally gutted polluted industrial nightmare is as easy or as complex as you want it to be, thanks to the intuitive, almost second nature interface. Number 1. SimCity 2000 Was there ever a doubt? The series that defined the genre has its rightful place on the top of the throne. Having been expanded and innovated from its predecessors, the features riddled throughout this game still hold up as being extremely impressive for their age, allowing anything from simple casual slums to replicas of some of the largest cities on Earth. No matter how many hours we poured into our city, the game never ceased to be downright fun, even when things started to go kinda wrong. Providing the framework for almost every single city simulator we now know, SimCity 2000 still stands out as being the best example of its class, allowing you to create and destroy any way you see fit. Do you agree with our list? Are you a rebel? Make it so. Do you have any other favorite city simulators? 
For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ah, uh, Holnick knew you'd take care of it. No one messes with you much, do they?